Today we're going to add a ton of braking performance and a splash of color to this 2016 Mustang GT. This is a 2019 Mustang Bullet Original Equipment Brake Upgrade Kit. This is going to fit your 2015 through 2017 Mustang. Now it's designed for your 15 through 17 base GT or for your performance pack EcoBoost. It's not going to fit the V6 or the base model Eco. These are the original equipment brakes found on the Bullet. I include the red six piston calipers for the front, matching red rears, along with new 15 inch front rotors, the 13 inch rear rotors, and every piece of hardware needed for installation. For this installation, they lift or a jack and jack stands, quarter inch ratchet, eight millimeter socket, three eighth ratchet, six inch extension, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, mallet, nine millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, and a 13 millimeter line wrench. We're going to be in the insulation with the rear brakes. Now, one thing you want to make sure of is make sure the master cylinder does not run out of fluid. You will get a little bit of a drip when you take the lines off. Just keep an eye on it because if it does drain, it's very difficult to fill properly. First thing we're going to do though is remove the standoff here for the e-brake and the one over here for the brake hose. Okay, now we're going to bolt the caliper. Don't remove them all the way now, just get them loose. All right, now we're going to separate the brake hose back here from the hard line coming in. Make sure you have a drip pan underneath because you will lose a little bit of fluid. Okay, with the hard line disconnected, now we're going to remove the mounting bracket. Okay, with the line bracket off, now we can remove the bolt to hold the caliper to the bracket. Okay, pull the e-brake cable off. I'm going to turn it so you can squeeze these two plastic tabs and pull it through. Okay, everything out of the way, now we can finally remove the caliper bracket. Okay, now we can remove the rotor. Sometimes it'll pop right off. I'm going to swap out the brake shield. This is actually the same shield with the bullet kit, but I'm going to put everything new on the back while we're at it. And I'll install our new shield. Okay, now we'll put our new rotor on. And the new caliper bracket. Now these brackets are universal, so they're not side specific. Okay, we're going to transfer the pins over to our new caliper brackets. What you want to do is basically grab the base of the rubber gasket here, pull and pop them out. Put a little fresh grease on them.
Okay, and sold the anti-rattle clips. Okay, and we're gonna put some of the Molly code on those before we install our new pads. All right, we installed the new line, our new caliper. Make sure you have a washer on both sides. Okay, we connect our e-brake. And then once we get the bolt started, tighten down the calipers. Okay, let's mount our new line and reconnect it. Get everything tight and remount these two standoffs. We're going to repeat the process on the other side and move on to the front. All right, moving up front, we'll start by removing the factory caliper. And now we'll remove the rotor. Okay, throw it off, remove the shield. Okay, we're gonna install the new splash shield, which obviously is much smaller than the original. Okay, so before we actually put it in the car, we're going to assemble our caliper up here on the table. We're going to start by putting the brake pads in. These are going to fit basically on the outside end here. You bend these tabs down a little bit though and make them stick on a little better. Ok, 
Okay, get the pads in, we'll flip it over. Now you want to put the anti-rattle clip in. If you look closely on here, you're going to see there's an arrow. The arrow is going to follow the rotation of the rotor. So being this is our passenger side, it's going to basically point in that direction. Make sure both pins are through both sides of the pad. Make sure this goes across the top and is hooked on both sides. You're going to carefully tap these in until they're flush. Okay, now we're going to install the line. Again, make sure you have one of the supplied washers on each side. little thread lock on, just make sure it doesn't get up where the hole is. Okay, it's ready to go on the car. Okay, with our new Brembo caliper prepared, now we can remove the factory line and caliper, disconnect the hard line right here from the brake hose. Again, make sure you got a drip pan below that. Now you can remove the bracket. Okay, hook the Harlan up to our new bracket. Install the factory bolt. Okay, with the line connected, now we can install our new rotor. Just throw a lug nut on here just to make it easier to get the caliper to line up. and install the new calipers with the original hardware. Okay, now again, just like the rear, we're gonna repeat the process on the other side and then it's time to bleed the brakes. Okay, bleeding the brakes is definitely gonna be a two-man job unless you happen to have a speed bleeder. So what you wanna do is start with the brake furthest from the master cylinder, have somebody release the bleeder valve while you pump the brakes and then hold to release the air. Okay. It's on the floor. Now you've done both the rears, we're going to do the fronts again. Start furthest from the master cylinder. Make sure between wheels, between brakes, you check the master cylinder so it doesn't go dry. You should give it about three slow pumps, then it sort of hold it. It will keep going to the floor, that's normal. After about the third or fourth try, the pedal should get firm.
Okay. Again, make sure when you're doing this with the fronts, they do have two bleeders. So you wanna go back and forth. Down. Floor. Okay. It's floor. Okay. Floor. And once you go through all four wheels, you should have a nice tight pedal. Never a bad idea to go through just one more time. Make sure you have all the air out. The more air you have out of the system, the better the brakes are gonna perform. Brembo brakes are gonna make this 2016 Mustang GT stop a lot better. That pop of color from the red bullet calipers really looks good behind the Shelby wheels. Now, as far as the installation goes, this is time consuming. I'm not gonna say it's terribly difficult, but give yourself about three to four hours. Be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.